or even bigger from Darno. That is a fair ball tie game. RBI base hit by Travis Darno, and it's 1-1 here in the fourth. Runners at first and second. Hardest throwing staffs in baseball. Granderson takes a 1-2 pitch into right back is Rios, and that one is gone! Curtis Granderson delivers the Mets' first World Series lead. This is a team that relies on the home runs, and Curtis Granderson has his... In the air to left. Gordon will come up ready to throw. Cespedes is coming to the plate. Here's the throw. It's three to one. That man stole them a run. The first to third play, I know I'm harping on it a lot, but it changed this whole half inning. That's two runs tonight. The Mets have scored on a ground ball to the right side and the runner going to third base. Conforto gets the RBI. That's his third of the postseason. The throw by Gordon ballooned a little bit, and Cespedes reminds everybody just how fast he ball Escobar has seen from Matt Harvey. There's a 1-1. Left side in the hole. Flores, long throw. He got him. What a play. And now it's Jonathan Neese pitching on his birthday. A strikeout of Kane, two down. The 0-2. How about that inning from Jonathan Neese? Here's Dyson with a fly ball into right. Granderson's got it. What a catch by Curtis Granderson to rob Dyson in his first at bat of extra bases. One loud out. Early in the year went down with an injury and they really haven't been able to fill that lefty on lefty role. But what a job Nice has done here tonight in game one of the World Series. And that man barring an error is Colon. Lagares. Let's go to the 13th inning. Here in game one. As the Royal Hander, 23 years old, he's a rookie. And if the Mets want to climb back into this series, they need their number 34 to step up. He's swinging at first pitch. The question, Tom, will it be 100 or 101 that he's going to be swinging at? I wouldn't be surprised to see this fastball in on Escobar. Announce yourself right away if you're Noah Syndergaard. Swing at the first pitch. He would have needed a ladder to even have a shot right there. Now that's dirty. Then you come back with a hook. <laughs> it's game on, no doubt about it. A ball and two strikes on Escobar. This is knocked down by Syndergaard to end the inning with the Royals on top. A double by Zobris. The box over to third is the runner Rios and just out at first. Should end the inning into center for Cespedes. But the Royals are back on top with two runs on four hits in the second. This is at 99. It's a 1 2 to Alex. Flores. Seven straight retired by Syndergaard. Yeah. Now, not too often you're going to get your first man.
major league at bat, and the guy's throwing 100 miles an hour at you. And Escobar strikes out with two down. That's in the air to right center field, and the gap. Granderson makes that. Two in the top of the fifth. Here comes a one-two from the kid. Tied him up. No way. Struck out number five. Okay, that's like 92. That's now 12 straight and back-to-back -back strikeouts as Syndergaard is taking over. Gets the ball in game three. That is a fair ball. Good play, Duda. Runners advance to second and third. Only one out. I like how Lucas Duda surrounded that ball and really kept it. If he dives and kicks it away from him, it goes down the corner. He really circled this to make sure his body was going to stay in front of this ball. Watch him circle it and come around and keep that thing in front of him. He doesn't have to play anywhere else. But the nature of which he went around, and if he kicks that forward, it still keeps it in front of him and doesn't go down the line. So nice he was play. struggling back to the minors. Had his best offensive season this year. And when you're that big, 6'4", 180, you can make a play like that. And so far, no sparks. We go to the third inning here in game two. No score. October, and now he hits one in the left. This one is caught by Cespedes up against the wall as Rios came oh so close for his first World Series home run. This just shows you how big this ball is. Keep a lead. Time for Flores. Inning over. And the young right-hander does his job into and out of trouble. Alex, go get warm. Two, we'll two out. Duda fights it off and dumps it into left. Here comes Murphy, and the Mets strike first. One to nothing in the fourth inning of game two. A one two. Up the middle. Flores, what a play. Stuff. We're watching a guy come of age right in front of our eyes. He's made some nice plays this series. And Tom, I remember you saying oh, that he man. wasn't known for the range. He's shown us some plays, huh? Already. He really has. It was a scouting report coming in that Kansas City at the bigger edge, much bigger edge, range middle infield, but especially to the his pitcher for the Mets. The old one from Reed. Broken bat, pop up from Murphy. The one two. Another pop up. Duda going to get it. And two up. Now a two two. Right side. Duda. The flip. Time to stretch. To the right side. Duda comes to the plate. He scores the one and safe. It's 5-3. Well, because of the defensive alignment, it caught them in a position where they didn't know what to do. And Tom, you pointed out they're halfway. So what do you do? Who goes and gets this ball? Nine hits during the season for Syndergaard.
wasn't there, the block was not there. Team down two games to nothing. That's in the right of base hit. They will bring the runner. Throw by Rios. Another run. The numbers during the postseason after he was a 13 game winner in his first season back after recuperating from Tommy John surgery. Good start for Harvey. Inning over. Runner goes on a ground ball to short. Flores. The tag for the out. A 1 0 pitch. That's right side, Murphy, got one, and got a move, double play. of the 12th inning. The Royals are one strike away. One ball, two strikes. Davis comes to the plate. Strike three call. It's over. 
They've done it. The Royals are World Series champions. The world champion Kansas City Royals. It's been 30 years. Royals fans, let's get the party started. Wow. As the players jump on top of one another, they hug one another, high fives, hoisting one another in the air. They are already putting on the world championship caps and t-shirts. What a sight. They're a great team over there, you know, and, and obviously they came in hot. Uh, you know, I think the days off kind of slowed them down a little bit. But, you know, getting the, the big win, I think, you know, the big wins back in Kansas City, I think gave us a little bit of a comfort level. But, but you know, with this pitching staff over there, you can't ever get too comfortable. And uh, we knew it was going to be a battle, especially against Harvey tonight. He pitched great. Um, all their pitchers pitched great. But, uh, you know, we just found a way to scratch and claw our way into these wins. And, um, you know, that's that's how we ended up winning the series. When you're watching the game in the bullpen and you're entering the ninth inning and you saw how Matt Harvey was dominating, what were you thinking? Yeah, that was unbelievable by him. You know, that was a big break for us getting a couple hits there at the end because he was pretty much handling the whole game himself. So that was some kind of special. Last June, no one would ever said we were going to be sitting where we are today. And, uh, I congratulate the Royals. They played absolutely great. Ned's done a tremendous job. He deserves a lot of credit, and they, 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 they've done a great job in their organization. We just, uh, you know, we couldn't, uh, couldn't, get, couldn't get it done, and, and we're hoping to get another chance at it. You know, you've got to take your hat to the Royals. They played extremely well, um, so you've got to get credit where credit's due. Um, they played a heck of a, you know, four or five games, um, and they beat us, so take your hat. We'll see him at the beginning of the next year. Well, I think they outplayed us in a number of areas, and not just base running. That's, that's their uh, MO. You know, it's not really, you know, what got us to this point. We picked it up a little bit in the playoffs, but uh, you know, they ran the bases excellent. You know, they stole some bases. Um, you know, they got the big hits when they needed it. I mean, they they definitely out hit us. Um, you know, their bullpen was as good as advertised, and, and their starters were excellent. I mean, that's just the. The recipe for success, and there's a reason that you know they're over there celebrating now.